making them. Well, hello, everybody. I'm so happy to see you guys here, ready to go. Leslie, I love the drums. You already know what I'm going to be asking you like, ahead of the game. Super excited about that. Oh, welcome, everybody. Welcome, Bethany, Sherry. Oh, so glad for you to be here. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and get this video on the random comment picker real quick. I did like a video, like a screen test already to make sure that you guys could see my phone. But I just plugged. So here's the random comment picker app. I'll show you. See? Random comment picker. And I got the video already, right? Uh, the link to the video already in there. I'm going to push filter duplicate users. So that way, again, one entry per subscriber per follower so that way everything is fair across the board going to answer the math question so funny four plus five so my little doggy barrett away from the window if he barks i will like instantly beeline it to him to like get him to be quiet <laughs> but oh pj thank you so much Mwah. remember to make it I remembered to make it this time. I'm so glad you could be here, PJ. I'm so glad. But so I've got the uh, math question in here, getting YouTube comments. So right now it's just grabbing the YouTube comments from the channel um, or from the video. So yeah, I have the little guy in here with me. So if he like barks or anything, I'll be sure to like get him to be quiet really quick, but I'm babysitting today. I'm babysitting right now. So <laughs> he's just in here with me. Welcome everybody. Welcome. So glad you could be here. Okay. So it is 1258 now. I do like to hop on here a little bit early just so I can kind of make some reminder announcements, get the video pulled in literally minutes right before I pick the winner. That way, if anybody needed to enter in today, they still had an opportunity to do so. Really just opening up the ability to enter as much as possible. I now have all of the unique or amount of unique comments. There are one, 1,174 unique comments. Wow, you guys, I am so excited. I, I swear, I remember when there was like 150 <laughs> and even less than that when I first started my giveaways and I had enough names where I just wrote them down on a piece of paper and put them in a hat and I shuffled and I picked a name out of the hat. Now I couldn't possibly do that with 1,174, but that is still exciting. All right, I have one minute. So real quickly before I push the button, respecting your time, winner, when I show you off, remember that you have 10 days from today to get a hold of me or you forfeit all your winnings and I select a new winner. Okay, super important. Don't want that to happen. I want to make sure the winner gets their prize. All right, it is one o'clock. Give me drums. Come on, guys. Give me drums. If you are on a tablet or, emoji or a cell phone, the emoji of a drum. Or if you are on your computer or don't do emojis, just do B-R-R-R-R-R-R-R. Here we go. And click in the button. I'll make sure you guys can see. Go back to the button. Button. Okay, and start. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Here we go. Good luck, good luck. And the winner is. This is the winner. Hopefully, everyone can see it. And the winner is DRR Ladybug. Oh, that's so cute. So, DRR Ladybug, you are the winner. The comment loved your crochet school pants in August or in Austin, Texas. Thanks for your generosity and all that you do. And I love the jack o' lantern emojis. Thank you so much, DRR Ladybug. Okay, everybody, please congratulate. Make sure that you guys can all see. Make sure, because I know that was something that some people. We're saying was that they couldn't see the name. We will make sure 
that someone will see it. DRR Ladybug. <laughs> Try to make sure. Got lights on everywhere. Anyways, <laughs> for some reason, the, the camera is like having trouble. Oh my goodness, notifications. There we go, I think. There we go. Okay, so I'm screenshotting this so that way I can now go back after this video. I'm gonna go back to my giveaway video for giveaway 19. Find your comment, DRR Ladybug, and I will respond or reply to your comment congratulating you and letting you know everything that I need you to do so I can get you your box of goodies. Yay, I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and move straight on to what I put in the box. By the way, thank you everybody for entering into this giveaway. I appreciate all of you entering. If you didn't win, it's okay. I will be doing another mystery box giveaway next month. So just be sure to enter into that one as well. But again, 99% of the people that win my giveaways have never won a giveaway before. So let's lift them up, congratulate them, and make them feel extra special for getting this opportunity to actually win. So yay! Okay, so as a reminder, I have two boxes that you get to pick from, DRR Ladybug. I have box A, box B. Right now they are in bags because I need to find a box that will fit everything in it. I don't have the right size. I swear everything that I put together, they fit in random different size boxes. So I can't just have like a bunch of boxes in, in stock, <laughs> like ready to go. That would be honestly, a, probably a really good idea. I should just invest in a bunch of boxes and have them ready to go. So when I do a mystery box giveaway, I'm like, got my boxes ready. Just got to tape them up and ship them out. But I don't have them yet. So I still got to get boxes. So right now everything is in bags. So box A is my, or it contains the yarn that has wool content in it. So this is, and this is extra special. I'm very excited about this. So this yarn right here is a specialty yarn. It's a hand dyed yarn by McMullen Yarn Co or Fiber Co. And their website is mcmullenfiberco.com. So I'll have all of the information in the description section after this video goes live. I didn't want to put everything in the description section before the video and kind of spoil the surprise. But yes, so this yarn right here, it is a posh DK weight. So it's a size three. It's 80% superwash merino wool, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. Each of these hanks, because this is a hank, hank of yarn, is approximately 280 yards or 115 grams. That's just what they provide. A gauge is six or four to six stitches, uh, inch size, and US five to eight needles. The, this is the color classic collection, the secret garden. I don't think this uh, is uh, available anymore on their website because it is a hand dyed specialty yarn, but it's beautiful. And it reminds me of fall so much. Just all of those colors just scream fall to me. Now this is the exact same yarn that I used for the crisscross poncho. So I, I just love this yarn so much. I overbought knowing that whatever wasn't used in the poncho, I wanted to give away to people. Now, let me show you how much yarn I had that I overbought <laughs> that I had available to give away. So I have one. I have two. Three. Four. <laughs> Five, 
Oh my gosh. And six, six hanks of this gorgeous secret garden yarn, size three weight, DK weight for you to play with. Option A. So this is one option that you get to pick from. Oh my gosh, the colors are just gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. Absolutely remind me of fall, 100%. So you can, you definitely have enough to make whatever you want, really. DK, Ladybug, uh, or DRR, Ladybug. Uh, this could make a really beautiful poncho, a really beautiful shawl. I don't know if it's enough. I don't think it's enough to make another crisscross poncho because each one of those arrow squares uh, took up a, a good amount of yarn from these hanks. If I recall right, I thought I got three or four arrow squares from one hank. So you might have just enough or just shy of enough but you could easily turn this into whatever you wanted. A really lightweight, small throw blanket, maybe make a top, maybe even a beautiful bag if you wanted to. Like, I'll, I'm gonna let you play with this and you decide if this is the one you choose. So this would be box A. And that is all for the yarn of the kit or the, the mystery box. Now box B, oh, sorry. I wanna make sure I read this. It, it was blurry to me too. Okay, wait, I wanna make sure. Uh, is the screen blurry to anyone else? Somewhat blurry, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pam, I overbought just because I wanted to make sure. And I didn't know if she'd have it any, again, kind of like the same thing with colorways, making sure that you have the same colorway across the board for your project. I was like, I don't want to run up, come up short, especially when I'm buying from a specialty yarn place. I was like, I'd rather overbuy in this situation than underbuy just in case. Uh, okay. So not blurred to me. Okay, so the the webcam that I'm using right now, uh, I did use it once in a crafters gathering and some people said that it was blurry to them as well. So I'm hoping that if you're referring to the phone being blurry, that it was blurry just because of all the lights that I have in my studio, just kind of being too much on the screen. But uh, if I'm blurry, I'm hoping that I can, it can work out. <laughs> so, um, so I apologize for that. I'll probably go ahead and use a different webcam with my next one though, just because I don't want it to be blurry for you. Okay. Now, when it comes to box B, I wanted box B to be somewhat of the equivalent price wise of, of box A, because I didn't want someone to be conflicted in Oh my gosh, I really love the yarn from box A, or I love the yarn from box B, but the value in box A is greater. So I'd rather get the better value than the better yarn. And then you're torn on what you want. So I was like, I don't want to do that. So I tried to make the, the price value close. All right, so. When it comes to box B, all of the yarn here has no wool in it. So you don't have to worry if you have a wool allergy, DRR ladybug. I have, all right, so this is yarn B, romantic, romantique. <laughs> romantique but it is so soft. You can see it, it looks fuzzy. It is fuzzy, but it's, it's so incredibly soft. It's so soft. I got this because it reminded me of a teddy bear and I thought that it would make the most amazing throw blanket ever. And I just, I really can't stop petting it. <laughs> like, it's so 
soft. So this yarn right here is 80% acrylic, 20% polyamide. It's a size five weight yarn. In each skein, there are 83 yards or 76 meters, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. Little boy. I knew he was going to do this. One second. Thank you. Now you have to apologize to everybody for barking. Say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so this yarn right here. No. You did. You went right back to the same spot. Stay here and sit. Thank you. Sorry about that. So he is now laying down. He's he's good. He has his ball. <laughs> okay, so this yarn right here, the color, I think it's the color is the last thing that I haven't shared. Sear. Now, what I loved about this color is it also made me th think very much of fall. And it made me think of colder weather, nature, that really beautiful, just earthy kind of vibe, which I'm really digging right now. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight skeins of this yarn that you could potentially play with. I definitely want to make sure I got enough for you to make like a blanket, a small throw blanket, something that you could just drape over the couch, the sofa, and while you're watching TV, just kind of like drape over you. So if you choose this, I think it's going to make the most amazing blanket. So we have these. And then I was like, okay, that's a lot of brown. And I know there are some people out there that really love color. And I don't want to leave them with just something so incredibly neutral, you know? So mm -hmm. I also will include here some bright, beautiful rainbow colors that, well, they're not necessarily bright. They're actually kind of, um, to me, they're kind of on that farmhousey tone of these colors for the rainbow that um, I think would look absolutely stunning. So I have, oh, here, let me just pull them, or, okay. So these are all Vanna's Choice. They're all 100% acrylic. They are a size four weight yarn, 170 yards of yarn per skein or 156 meters. And this is the color Terracotta. It's gorgeous, beautiful, like pumpkin orange. Same exact yarn, but in the color Colonial Blue. Olive Green. Um, mauve Purple. mustard yellow and then i thought it would be nice to add a neutral or a just a like a cream this is called fisherman but it looks like a cream color just in case you needed something to break up all the color i like this cream color i thought white might be too too sharp black would be too sharp uh gray would not go so much but i thought cream would look really pretty if you wanted to add it in here to either if you wanted to use all the colors together and maybe make a really cool blanket with maybe a cream 
strip or cream line between each color to break it up. Or if you want to, honestly, you could make, you could use these individually and make maybe one, six, six individual hats, beanies. So you could do a lot of things, either combine them together, combine certain ones together, or separate them and do something individually. So this is all right here, what would be in box B. And again, none of it is, contains any wool or animal fibers. So, so we've got this. And then as usual, I have some things that are non-yarny related that would go in either box. So depending on, it's really, the boxes really separate the yarn because of allergies, but the other stuff I like to add on top, they aren't something you're allergic to. So it's kind of like the, uh, the thing that could go in either box, whichever one you choose. So let me get these out of the way real quick. Using Target bags. <laughs> Target has like the best bags. I use the I use bags from from my grocery shopping or from shopping shopping at all. I use it for like um, when I take my dogs on walks or something, and I use them for either picking up after my dogs or I use them for garbage sacks for smaller garbage cans that I have in like the bathrooms and stuff like that. And so I have an overabundance of plastic bags that I just reuse in certain ways, but Target seems to have the best bags. <laughs> okay, so BRR Ladybug, whatever box you choose or bag you choose, A or B, they will also come with these two things, which I thought were perfect for this time of year. So we'll start with these. Got these super cute stitch markers that I just absolutely loved. They have lots of fun. Let me take it out of the plastic. Maybe the plastic is reflective. I loved these. I specifically picked this one out because I thought that the charms and the stitch markers were just so cute. Oh, that's a little bit better. Okay. So here we got like a ball of yarn and a pair of scissors. What are you? This is like a tag that says made with love on it. This is a measuring tape, a little sheep and a skein of yarn. And then what's crazy, is if you turn it over, they like, it's interesting, same exact charms, but some of them have the clip, the little clip, and some of them just have a ring, like they are charms. So you have like double, one at one will be a clip, one will be a charm. I thought those were super cute, super fun to play with. And then this time of year, I am finding myself using a mug almost on a daily basis. I drink things from just coffee, tea, uh, cider. I love like a warm apple spice cider this time of year. It just so puts me in the vibe. I don't know if you were the same, but when I found this mug, first I was drawn to the colors. So I'll come this way where there's, you just see the color. It looks like watercolors, but it, it reminds me of a sunrise, especially here in Texas. I just, I saw these colors and it just gave me the vibe. It gave me the feels where I was just like, that is so pretty. That would just be a beautiful thing to wake up to in the morning, no matter what you were drinking. And it does say on the message here, it does say coffee. So BRR ladybug, if you don't drink coffee, then feel free to just kind of like cross that off or ignore it. <laughs> but it says powered by coffee and yarn. And then on the back, it has little like check mark tally things here. And it says, thinking about yarn, really thinking about yarn. And then let's do this. <laughs> so like where you are in the status of your drink and getting some energy and waking up, like thinking, really thinking, 
I'm ready to go. <laughs> like, and I was like, that's so fun. So I thought I would just kind of bring a smile to you with whether you want to actually drink coffee out of this or drink whatever out of this, or even if you want to just kind of put it on a shelf and place a hank of yarn in it, <laughs> and it becomes just kind of like a pretty on your shelf, whatever you want to do with it. Even if you feel like it doesn't fit you very well, you can re-gift it too. I think it would be a beautiful, fun gift. Anyways, like I said, everything that I give in my mystery box giveaways are things that I would absolutely adore or love to receive myself. They are thought, I mean, I put a lot of thought into everything that I give to you guys or put in these boxes because I know winning something is is rare and random to win a mist win any giveaway. A lot of people have said I've entered in to giveaways for years and I've never won. So when you actually win a giveaway, I want what you win to be something you get excited about and not something that you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, because it's like you finally won something. I want it to be something exciting. So I try to put a lot of thought into what I provide, you know, what I put in these giveaways. So BRR Ladybug, you have 10 days from today to get a hold of me. Um, you can either respond to my comment in that I will be making uh, to your comment. Hopefully your notifications are turned on. I'm basically going to be asking you to email me at info at crochetwithtiffany.com. But in the message, I'm going to be telling you specifically what I need you to include and in that email. So uh, if you get a hold of me and you're like, I haven't received, you know, we'll, we'll make it work. If I can at least get in touch with you, then we can work from there. <laughs> so I'm hoping to hear from you. I'm very excited to get you your box of goodies. You get to choose box A, box B. If you did not win and you saw something here that you're like, ooh, I would love to get my hands on that. If it's still available, I'm going to put all links in the description section below this video. So you can click on that link. And if you really want it, you can get one yourself. So I want to make sure everything is available, you know, provided for you as easy peasy as possible. I'll even put uh, I'll copy and paste the description section into the comment section and I'll pin it. So it's the first comment. So if you have trouble finding the description section, I'll make sure it's the first comment in the comment section. So got you covered there. If it's unavailable, like if one of the yarns is discontinued, then I will just play, I'll, I'll say it's discontinued, but here is where it was located at. If you'd like to check out to see if another yarn would work for you that you would get excited about. But anyways, thank you everybody so incredibly much for entering into my giveaway. It, it just, it means so much to me that you would want to participate in some fun with me, have some fun with me, that you are subscribed to my channel and that you have chosen to join my journey here on YouTube and with crochet and that you would let me be a part of your crochet journey as well. I hope I make you proud. I hope that you enjoy my videos. I hope that you enjoy my channel and I hope that you will continue to do so for a long time. <laughs> I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you very, very soon with my next video and next month is going to be so much fun. I can't wait for it. So. Hope to see you around very soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>